Órale, oh. 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 ¿cómo está? ¿Está bañando o qué? ¿O oh, está cortando el pelo? ¿Cómo se lo cortó? A ver, ¿con qué? Nah. A ver, cortes otro, otro pedazo. De volada, ¿verdad? Sí, caliente. Está bien. It is hot today. What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new trucking vlog. As you can tell, we're back in my truck, baby. Um, in the last video I had mentioned that we didn't know how much longer it was gonna take until we got it back. And that's because we really didn't know. It could have been any day, it could have been a week, two months, we didn't know. Uh, but they ended up getting it back together and it looks like they left some parts here. I don't know if that's what's causing the smell, but my truck just smells kind of musty, man. Let's start this baby up. Get the air flowing in here, man. Damn, hella dust. We're finally back in my truck, man. After what feels like a crazy couple months with it, I feel like ever since we got it, it's just been kind of non-stop problems. But we finally got it back, but something feels a little off. Something seems boring. My sleeper isn't necessarily the funnest. This is pretty boring. All we got is some red lights in here that switch from red to white. We don't have much going on in here. So the mission for today is to turn this boring sleeper into the coolest sleeper I can put. The hell? It's barely new and there's already chaos. Basically, we're gonna be switching this boring sleeper into the coolest sleeper that I can possibly think of. So let's go to Walmart. Vamos! All right, guys, we just pulled up to Walmart right now and we're on a mission to get a couple things. Gotta get some LED lights, a little TV, some snacks, Maybe like some little buckets to put the snacks in and stuff like that. Some popcorn, all that kind of stuff. We need to get some stuff like that to make this sleeper as non-boring as possible. Because as a truck driver, this is pretty much my second home away from home. You guys get what I'm saying? I want to make my living space as fun as possible. So let's go into Walmart, baby. Yeah. Alright, so the only issue we're going to have with Walmart is that they don't always have everything. So it could potentially be a fail. Never know. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not looking too promising. Oh, I think I found him. I think I found him. No, I didn't. Shit. Just what I needed. Oh, I found him. Oh, yeah, baby. We got these right here. We need 100 feet. 100 feet should be good. 100 feet should be enough for like the whole inside of the sleeper, to be honest. But how do these connect? Power included, 24V. All right. I think we're going to get these. Lights. Check. Oh wait, can't forget about the TV lights. These right here should be good. Okay, now I need to find a damn TV. I need to get a little TV though, because last time I got a big one, and that thing was swinging everywhere, and it ended up breaking on me. So I get the monitors. Then we'll get this 24 inch. Should I get the 24 inch? This one is a 27 inch, and this is kind of tiny. Maybe this one? All right, we got the TV, or the monitor actually. So monitor, check. To the snacks and drinks. Let's go. So you got pickups to do. All right, we definitely gotta get some ice cream. Oh, this is a six pack. I need a smaller one. Three pack, just for me. Some Coke Zero. Let's go into these. All right, we got the snacks, we got the drinks, we got the monitor. I think that's pretty much it. Let's go check out and see how much this gaming room setup's gonna cost me. All right, guys. We managed to secure everything. Now let's transform this truck. It's not much, but it should make the sleeper a lot less boring. And I got that really cool TV mount on TikTok that I'm excited to try. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back in the truck. We got everything in here. It is freaking hot outside, but we got one pickup to do right now. Well, we actually got three pickups to do, but I think this one that I'm going to right now might take the longest. So I'm gonna try to knock everything out. Yeah, at this pickup right here. So let's go to the pickup.
Oh wait, the ice cream. Oh damn, it's gonna melt. Pull over real quick. Oh my God. Yeah, clean all this off too man i had some vegetables that rot not rotted they just melted in there or something because this had turned off and i just never cleaned it but that's why i got some cleaning utensils as well i got some wipes and all that good stuff you know what let me let me get an ice cream real quick just to make sure it's not melted you know or to make sure it doesn't have any poison oh yeah That is the best ice cream of the entire world. We're all checked in. Now let's go to the truck and make the sleeper less boring. Go ahead and place your candles back and back into door three. Okay, thank you so much. Damn it, I thought that was gonna take a lot longer and they're already giving me a damn door. Guys, I was pulling out and my door hinge just fucking broke off. What the hell? Bro. Hey. All right, we got my friends to the rescue. Teamwork makes the dream work. My uncle, aka my boss, ended up showing up because he was like 10, 15 minutes away from this packing house that I was at. And I didn't know what to tell him because it honestly literally just fell as soon as I pulled out. And he didn't believe me, which if I was in his position, I wouldn't believe my driver either. Se quedaron todos los hinges de aquí. I don't know what's going on. I need a limpieza or We're something. We're out here in the Bay Area right now. We're actually on our way to Lodi, California to pick up a transfer that I have to take back to the Central Valley. If there's one thing I love, it's meeting you guys on the road, man. Whenever we run into each other. I have someone back here that I'm gonna show you guys. Said he watches my videos. Right, he's rolling up right now, guys. Nice seeing you, brother. I get so much joy seeing you see whenever someone says hey bro i watched your videos it, it, it makes my day man this drive feels a lot longer than i'm used to what the hell damn all right boys so we're about five minutes away from our pickup and we're gonna stop at this little gas station real quick get some snacks fuel up um see if we can find something healthy at least if not screw it i'm gonna eat whatever the hell there is there because i'm hungry 40s and nines all right looks like we're pulling up to the spot but what the hell what is right here if it is ah, move out of the way here oh, they have a truck damn it All right, let's get checked in and see what goes, see what's what's the vibe. So boss, I was uh, picking up a, a transfer to Aragoyan. It's not ready. What time it'll be ready? I don't know, it could be, uh, what time is it? Uh, probably a good hour. A good hour? Oh yeah. Okay, sounds good. Uh, All right, you guys heard the man. It's gonna be at least an hour, maybe two, who knows. Um, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna eat my breakfast burrito that I got and get to cooking in the back of the sleeper and transform this thing from something boring into something a little bit more pleasing to see. I haven't been to the spot in a long time guys, but this is one of the many locations that we have to park at. It's not too bad. I've been in a lot worse locations. It's not too bad. So let's get it and see how this goes. Not gonna lie, this 
the, the old man that was talking to me, he kind of seemed a little nervous for me to back the truck. And he was like, just make sure you take it really, really wide. I was like, sure. You don't know that you're talking to a trained professional. All right, let's get her done, boys. Should I just pretend I don't know what I'm doing? Scare him more? Easy little back end right here. Damn! This thing is f my lord. Damn! Pretty good. Not phase rug walk worthy. Uh, walk outside, stretch, get the blood flowing, come back in here, and decorate the back of my sleeper. All right guys, so I had to pull out of the dock because another truck came and his order was ready. This guy's moving these pallets because I don't want them to fit. Let me see this truck. Reverse a little bit. There you go. We got her. All right, so it's been a couple hours, but we finally pulled up to the damn delivery. And I gotta go tell this guy to move up as I gotta make this delivery. Do you think I can get through real quick? Yeah, thank you. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I told this driver right here, but he didn't want to move and I don't want to argue with him. So I was like, whatever, dude. Thank you, sir. All right, guys, attempt number three million on trying to turn this sleeper into something funner. We're getting unloaded. Let's get started ASAP before we get interrupted again. I know that part of the problem was that last time I decided to get myself a, a 45 or a 50 inch screen TV, it didn't work out so well. All right, so after struggling a little bit, we got it on right here, nice and tight, giggity, perfect. Just go like this. Oh my god. Okay, so this is completely fa failing on me. That does not fit in here. It just stands out way too far out. I had it up and the the handle was literally sticking out to here. Like I wasn't gonna have the TV sticking out all the way up to here. Go a different route. Put it onto here some I I'm gonna figure it out. Just give me a second, but for now we're gonna move on to the lights. We're gonna put these lights up. I have to clean all this so it can stick. Who knew making these damn videos would be so hard? All right, guys, we are now on day three or two of trying to transform the back of my sleeper. Something I'm going to say is as a truck driver, you just you're up and down, man. You don't really have any time to sit down and do what you want to do. Now we're back here at the truck. Now we're going to put up the lights and get this done. The next 45 over. minutes I spent putting these lights up and honestly, it was a lot harder than I thought. They kept falling off. They wouldn't stick on there right until I used the double sided tape. That's when it got a little easier. All right, so we got the lights up. <clears throat> Change them right now because I forgot the dang password to my Apple ID. So I need to download the app so I can be able to change the lights. You know what? I think I might be able to. Okay, look at that. Also guys, I'm not gonna even put the put up this monitor, this money on it for no reason. I'm gonna go return it. I thought that I had this, man. My portable PlayStation. Now for the chips, I think the chips, I'm going to set them up right here. Can't forget about my popcorn. Now get this up. Let's see. Let's put this. Now we got to get this baby connected. Oh. 
Oh yeah, baby. All right, guys, I'm not done yet. This is what we were able to get up. <laughs> Literally just the ding lights. This is almost a fail. And then I got this little corner right here that has snacks. So you literally walk into my truck, you're like, you know what, I want some popcorn. Bam, boom, get it, throw it in there. There you go. And then you're like, you know what? I'm kind of craving cookies, man. Bam, double chocolate chunk cookie. And then right here, we got the portable PS5 going. And back here, we got the mini fridge where we got a bunch of snacks. So if you get a little bit thirsty during gaming, you got this, and if you're craving something else, I got you some ice cream too, baby. You're a little bit hungry, don't you worry. We got some cheeseburgers in here too, baby. I'm craving breakfast. I got the eggs too. Literally have a home on wheels, but my goal with this is to try to get it as nice as possible. But for now, I think this is pretty chill. I got my little PlayStation right here, snack area, my microwave hooked up. If I want to cook something up like some ramen, I got this right here. And then the best part, ah, the bed, which reminds me, I got to take a nap because in a couple hours, I got to head up to the Bay Area. I got to deliver 24 pallets and then I got to drive to Lodi again and pick up another 20 pallets and take them all the way down to Bakersfield. I'm going to have a long next two days, but for now, I'm going to get some sleep and I'll see you guys back again on the next trucking video. Vamanos! Oh, actually guys, I have a little series coming up called No Trucking Tuesdays. That's all I'm going to say.